Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out today's video. Today, we're gonna take a look at an in-depth breakdown of a Zap Lalo raid that I did in a league match against Evil Witches. So let's go ahead and jump into the plan and then we'll jump into the raid. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so taking a look at Mara's base here, what immediately stands out to me is we have quite a bit of Zap value here. We can take down the Inferno, the CC, and the uh, Scattershot. And with the Quake, we can weaken these buildings over here. So if we were to do that, okay, we can then drop two balloons to take down this Archer Tower. And we could send the heroes down this side of the base for a Sui. I think I would bring an Ice Golem, the King Queen, Royal Champion, and a Wizard up here at 12. And because there's only this line of defenses here, I think I could probably wall break into this junction down here. Let me erase that. This down here. All that needs to happen, and I think it's pretty crucial, well, two things. Cut this off with two balloons, this uh, archer tower, to make sure that I can force the queen and king in, or even just the queen would be fine. Um, this wizard tower needs to go down before I drop the wall break, otherwise the wall breaker will maybe target this this wizard tower and I don't want that because what I really want is this inferno tower so if we get all that down you can see that that is one a lot of value down in the base a lot of the key defenses down but two it's going to give me really good pathing to bring my balloons around this side of the base and into the town hall and basically what I like about this, the, this Archer Tower is down, okay? Is that if you look at these defenses down here, they're almost in a straight line. So I could go four balloons here and they're gonna target that Wizard Tower. And then two packs, oops, two packs of three balloons. Can I get this going here? Right here and right here. And then two more packs of balloons here, right? And that's gonna give me tremendous pathing through this entire area here which is really important because we are going to be fighting a sweeper I am going to be bringing three freezes so it shouldn't be that big a deal um, I would maybe consider zapping that but because the queen is also there it's kind of high value freezes I can freeze the expo the sweeper and the queen if I need to um, the reason freezing the expo is important is this one's on ground and I'm gonna sit headhunters in for the queen and I need those headhunters to get the queen down. So it's important to be able to freeze those kinds of targets. Um, and then from there, it's just balloons here, balloons here, and balloons here. And that should be it. Of course, I'm going to use the blimp for the town hall because it's safe. Um, I think I probably could lolo into the town hall, but I'm going to play it safe and take the blimp with me. And yeah, so it's looking like that will be it. I think if you just look at the base and what we got going here after all of our um, setup, the Lalo pathing is very nice. And I think that this base, there is a chance that even I could three star this with a Laloon attack. So as soon as my army is cooked, I will hopefully be able to raid or record this raid live. And you guys could see that. If not, we'll just take a look at the replay and see how it went. So. All right, I will be back as soon as everything's ready. Okay, so unfortunately I could not raid this one or record this one live. Um, we're gonna have to watch the replay. Uh, the zaps do get me all the value I wanted as we expected. Quake gets all the buildings weak as we expected. So here we go with the two balloon funnel. Immediately pull a Tesla. So I put the ice golem down ahead of the king and the queen. And I decided to put two wizards, one at 12 and one with the king, just to help them push through there a little bit faster because apparently this is baited. And I want to make sure the heroes get all the value we need to get to be able to fly the balloons through a decent path. Uh, so here we're going to go ahead and put the royal champion in. Remember, I want a wall break down here. So the king's getting close. I hit his ability. I cut the funnel off. And I wait for that wizard tower to go down. World Champion is there, so I decided to put a Headhunter in. Wasted that. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and wall break now. World Champ actually goes into the base. It would have been nice if that um, Headhunter went for the Queen. 
uh, she didn't, and the king is or the queen is now in. Had to burn the ability there because of the single. Then pops two ground skellies, and I had to make an executive decision here to freeze that scatter to make sure that it goes down. I was kind of hoping she'd break the wall and get the eagle. She doesn't. I go ahead and start the Lalo now because the queen's done all she's going to do. And even though she does get another wizard tower, archer tower, and start cleaning up. Um, Lalo is in. I didn't realize that at the time of the raid. I just said, okay, she's done. Let's go ahead and get the balloons going. I don't want a time fail. Now, I do have one more headhunter for the queen. And I freeze here. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to hold the headhunter until the bomb tower goes down. So he won't be in the tome. But that's okay. The blimp is going to get the town hall. I put the headhunter in and I froze the ground expo and queen one more time. The balloons took one volley of eagle shots, which is really unfortunate because it really beat them up pretty bad. But we had good enough pathing that even I could lolo this base. So if we have time, this is going to be a triple. At this point, I'm already satisfied. Even if I fail, the plan was basically successful the lalo worked really well i have a lot of balloons left there's no defenses so even if i time failed for me i'd be pretty satisfied with this because i'm not a very good lalo player but uh it's kind of looking like there's 10 seconds and four buildings we should be fine i think this is going to be a triple but anyway yeah it is a triple so anyway um yeah short and sweet easy to digest i hope you guys liked it and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.